Good morning. Happy Saturday. It's post Taylor day. Saw Taylor stuff last night. I vlogged the entire thing for a whole different video because I wanted to make it so that you guys could experience it too if you weren't able to go to the show. So I literally recorded I think every single song. So that was my last video, but I decided I'd do like a little Saturday and Sunday vlog. Um, I look crazy. Me and my mom just woke up, she slept here, and she accidentally... She just said, don't tell on me from the bathroom. She accidentally selected pick up instead of drop off for our coffees. So now we have to take a walk to Starbucks. And I am like hungover off life. Like I was not even drunk, but like my throat hurts because I was scream singing every song. And my neck hurts because I was like looking at her. And I'm unwell, but this is my, this is my look. Guys, my mom said to me, it? my mom goes, can we get breakfast while we're out? But nothing, nothing bad for us. Two seconds later, literally doesn't even, doesn't even, even wait. It wasn't even two seconds, it was <laughs> like a half a second. Half a second, doesn't even wait a full minute. Goes, I really want a bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> like didn't even. I haven't had a bacon, egg, and cheese in probably six months. Oh no, we had no, them in Paris. No, we had them in Paris. They she literally, baby. she didn't even stutter. They weren't. <laughs> they were not healthy. They had like cheese sauce, it was incredible. I, no, mine was on the side. Uh oh, I okay, the mine sauce. wasn't healthy. Anyway, I think that I'm hallucinating still. Um, I look terrible, so don't look at me. But I put on my my bracelet so everyone knows that I had a good I time last have night. Our blue bracelets on. <laughs> What's these? Yeah. It matters. <laughs> it matters. <laughs> I can't believe I'm out in public like this right now. At least my glasses match my shirt. It's 95 degrees and a man has Ugg slippers on. It's true. Freaking hot it's it. true. Sometimes I don't make good decisions and this is one of them, but. Can I tell them? Can't give out my alias name because I go on Yelp and I don't, I don't bad Yelp. I just, we own a restaurant so I have things I gotta do. <laughs> but, so my, my name on Yelp is not Michelle Politano. <laughs> It's this, it's this. So I had to go in there and it was really weird. <laughs> Saying someone else's name. She's a celeb, guys. Like, the podcast went to her head. She's a celeb now. She uses an alias. I have to. I don't want anyone to know it's me on Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, that that Franco's pizza bitch. That's right. Now they know. They don't know my name. They okay. Don't know, they don't know my alias. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna go sit by the water and eat my morning after Taylor Swift. <laughs> Be so jealous. Guys, this was the best idea we've had in a long time. Got the view. And this view honestly might be even better. <laughs> okay guys, we just finished eating. That was great. Morning after. We yeah. didn't eat bad last night, so it was no. well deserved. I'm honestly really grateful that we had a walk and get our coffee because that was so nice. Sitting with the view it was rejuvenating. And now we're gonna go walk past the It Ends With Us set because they're filming it all in Hoboken. And we're gonna go see if we I want see Blake. I wanna see if Blake's there because I've been walking past every single day, I'm not kidding, for the past like four days and I go alone and I'm shy I'm so no help. Yeah like, you I'm never but, gonna go up to someone. No 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 I won't I won't go up to her but if I'm alone like I just will walk past and not like stop and like look at all. I don't even know if they're filming today but we're gonna see. It's Saturday so they might not be but we'll let you know. If anything we could just look at the set because I literally am not kidding. I just walk past every single time. <laughs> because I'm so shy and there's always like a big group of people and I, I get like anxious. Now I got my mom. Yeah. It's my emotional support. <laughs> my social support dog. Yes. How oh, cool. Yeah. Guys, look at how cool this is. It's clothes. Wow. Okay, my mom just left. We went on a walk and we stopped in this store. It's called Washington General Store. And I don't think that my cousin watches my vlogs, so I'm gonna show this stuff. But if she does watch them, don't watch this part. I don't think she does though. I have my cousin's bachelorette weekend coming up. And so we found like a bunch of really cute stuff in this store that I wanna bring. First I got Prosecco Pong. How cute is this? Like even if we don't fill it with Prosecco, I just think it's so cute to play beer pong in these glasses. Like how cute is that? She's like aesthetically pleasing. And then I got so many of these because there's I think 16 girls going 
and they are little men to mark your glass and I think that they're so cute and they all say I do crew and then I ordered my cousin some things and I want to make her like a bag and a gift to bring but I saw these slippers and they're so cute and so fuzzy and they say bright on them so I got her those that's everything that I got I just thought it was cute and I wanted to share I'm like obsessed with these men I can't get over it like whoever invented these great idea now I'm going to clean up my apartment and shower and get myself together because I think Sam and Becca are gonna come over and we're going to hang out so shall be fun later though because I need to like get my shit in order my apartment is such a mess it's like embarrassing so i need to clean but yeah i'm still dying from the concert like i don't think i've ever screamed that much in my entire life it was actually unreal you looking so good I just showered quick i took a body shower please ignore my self tan i feel like it looks so bad it looks more orange on camera than it does in real life though i promise i'm gonna do second day hair with these curls they still look good i'm just gonna do some light makeup because it's so hot out today and tim and becca are gonna come over we're gonna hang out probably just walk around outside get dinner see see where the day takes us I don't think I ever clean my apartment as quick as I do when I'm gonna have people over. So honestly, I should have people over more because I just cleaned my whole entire apartment in an hour. And normally I just like procrastinate each step, but not today. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys once I'm all ready. <laughs> okay, I finished getting ready. My second day hair is like so good. It came out so good. I think that what I need to do is curl my hair very tightly and then brush it out the next day and it'll last very well because I literally had my hair in the tightest curls yesterday because of the concert. I wanted to look like Fearless Era Taylor. But this is my fit. I got this shirt in Paris at the Zara there. These cargos are from Hazel Boutique. They're so freaking cute. And I cuffed them on the bottom because they were a little bit long for me, but I'm wearing my New Balance sneakers and this vintage Dior bag. That's the outfit of the day. And I also added like a bunch of bracelets. I need to take off this. I didn't want to, but it's kind of killing my bag. Hold on. I put on so many bracelets. I normally like never wear bracelets. I don't know why. And I feel like I should start wearing more because they're so cute. Okay, that's the outfit. I'm gonna wait for them to get here and we're just gonna play in the sun. That's the that's the only thing on the agenda for this Saturday. I'm in such a good mood. I think Taylor literally like cured my everything. Also, my hair is literally down to my ass. Holy fuck, okay. Anyway, <laughs> that's the update. I don't know what this vlog is, but I love it. I don't know. Everything's close. We're broken. <laughs> guys. Why do we pick today? I don't know. For the shopping store. Guys, everything is closed. We're really so silly. This is upsetting. I it's Memorial to buy Day I week. I was like, so I was to buy something. Yeah. A candle. This is insane. Every place that we've tried to go into, closed. We also got uh, what's the uh, word? No, we got hit on aggressively, aggressively by a man. Becca left us. Sorry, she went girl. to the bathroom and we were just standing there. He professed his love to us. Yeah. He looked me in the eyes. He said, I love you. I said, okay. <laughs> said, okay, thanks. No, it was scary. He would not leave. He would not walk away after we said no. Thank you for having the time of her life. Look at her. Thank you all. She's at the spa. Frankie loves when her aunts come over. She gets so happy. She has princess treatment. Hello, Sam and Becca left a little bit ago. We just chilled. Literally every single store was closed that we tried to go into. We didn't even take account that it's Memorial Day weekend. I don't know why I didn't think that like anything would be closed because of that. Also, I lost it now. I probably can't get those on this weekend actually because it's Memorial Day and everything's closed. Um, I literally completely forgot that that was a thing, but it's whatever. 
I'm probably just gonna take off my makeup and just like chill. I'm so tired, honestly, from the concert last night still. So I think I'm just gonna like go to bed. I'm so excited to be having just a chill Saturday. Just want my makeup off, changed into comfy clothes. And I just wanna like watch like reality TV with my makeup off and smoke a joint. <laughs> that's what I wanna do tonight. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna listen to my body do that. The restaurant we ate at today, oh my god, wait, I need to talk about that for a second. The restaurant we ate at was so good. We went to Margarita's in Hoboken and I got this pizza that had pepperoni, peppers, hot honey, and I think that was it. And it was so good. And I have leftovers of that. So I think I may get high and eat it. That sounds like the best Friday night. I mean, Saturday night to me ever. Good morning. Oh my god, my throat. <clears throat> good morning, guys. I slept until 10 today and I feel so good. I was, I'm still dead from the concert that I went to on Friday. Like my body hurts. Am I getting fucking old? The fact that a Taylor Swift concert made my body hurt. But like the way that like I was looking up cause I was on the floor, like made my neck hurt. And then the rest of my body, I was just like going crazy. Okay, Frankie really wants to say good morning to you guys. That's so sweet, babe. That's so sweet. Anyway, last night I watched a movie because I, I literally loved it. It was a Netflix movie. And I, I think that I always have very low hopes for Netflix movies because I feel like they're really like cheesy a lot of the time, which I love, like I eat that shit up. But it was called Along for the Ride. So good. The main character, the guy main character was so cute and just the storyline was so good and they were so cute. It was very simple, but like really good at the same time and really cute and just like a feel good but also sad-ish love movie. It was everything I needed. It was so good and it made me want love. And I fell asleep making scenarios up in my head about me falling in love. Um, unfortunately, I am just aggressively single, so it's all right. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll be all right. Bed's made, coffee time, yay. I look like a mess. <laughs> Here's the breakfast setup. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally like contemplating buying Taylor Swift tickets for tonight for MetLife because my friends are going and I really want to go. Like I just want to go so bad because it was so amazing and I want to experience it again. But I'm like stopping the tickets because I want them to at least get less than my rent. But I'm stocking the tickets because they're crazy right now. So we'll see if they get low enough for me to justify it. As of now, I'm just gonna sip my coffee and eat my English muffin <laughs> and pray that I end up at MetLife tonight. We'll see. If I don't, I won't be like disappointed because I got to experience it once and that's enough. But like, if I could experience it again, that would be unreal. So I'll be here. Update on my day. I am like highly, highly, highly considering buying night three MetLife tickets. Anna, Hannah, and Marg are going and there's a ticket available in Anna's section in the same row and I think I'm gonna buy it. I think I'm gonna do it. I have an outfit picked out. This is really crazy, but like, <laughs> I feel like experiences are worth it. And like, I'm only gonna be young and be able to spend my money recklessly once ever. This is an experience of a lifetime, so I think I'm gonna do it. My friends are also really convincing me. I really want to go. So I think I'm just going to do it. So I guess we're going back. I'm not going to start getting like fully ready until I actually buy the ticket. So we'll see. My mom is also in full support of this for me, which makes me like feel like I should do it. Like if my mom was telling me like, no, this is crazy, then I'd be like, okay, like I'm not going to do it. But my mom is like fully supporting me. And she's like, I think you should do it. So... That makes me feel like it's okay. Like as long as my mom supports my decisions, I don't care what anybody else says, <laughs> like literally. The outfit I picked out is very like debut Taylor. I didn't have it. Well, I have like these two dresses that I got, but I just hate the way they look on me. I just tried on this one and I don't know, it's just like uncomfortable. And my debut Taylor outfit is just way more comfortable. Like I won't even like be thinking about my outfit. Update, I did it, I did it. I did it. Now I need to actually get ready. I need to hurry up because I just had like a whole 
crisis about these tickets and I was stalking tickets and then I almost bought one and then someone bought it and then I almost bought another one and then someone bought it so then I was like fuck I actually cannot wait any longer or I'm not gonna get one so then I like was going back and forth between a bunch of websites and I didn't want to get scammed and I was like having fucking anxiety so I finally got one and now I need to hurry up and finish getting ready and uber to met life and meet my friends okay guys I'm dressed I'm ready I need to eat and then I'm gonna go but this is that outfit it's really simple obviously last minute outfit but I'm so comfortable in it it's just cute and comfortable and I feel like it gives just it gives the vibes the cowgirl boots help it a little bit um give more like debut vibes i don't know i don't know or really care i just want to go and like embrace it and have a great time and be comfortable and not think about my outfit really like i hate being uncomfortable so this is the vibe i'm so excited i'm gonna eat really quick and then we're gonna go <sighs> so excited i like cannot believe i'm doing this this is crazy i just got to metlife all alone i'm waiting for anna in the uber pickup area i cannot believe i'm here again this is very crazy of me and I feel very crazy that I just pulled up alone <laughs> but thank god I have friends that are here I wouldn't have came otherwise we're back I'm just I'm so excited oh I'm spilling I know this is hard we're double fisting currently so it's not the vibe oh
just honestly we just saved money because we took the train. Honestly, we just saved all our money back. Yeah, we just that. yeah, one hundred percent. We're doing so Dilly well financially. Dilly Dilly Dilly. It's two in the morning. I got home like an hour-ish ago, and I've literally just been sitting down watching my videos. Guys, that was so therapeutic. Honestly, like Taylor's concerts will always be worth it for me because they are literally like going to therapy. Like, I just relate to every fucking word she says so much, and I love her, and that was just so fun and so amazing just the best time ever i'm so glad that i did it i'm about to warm up my pizza that i got yesterday it was so good i'm so excited right now actually this is everything i need and more i'm gonna heat up this pizza eat it and then go the fuck to bed but i literally had the best night ever in my life good morning it's a long weekend so i figured why not just keep the vlog going happy monday it's memorial day i was planning on just ending this vlog at the eras tour but you know what let's just keep it going i've been really liking posting like very long vlogs and i feel like you guys have been responding well to them so let's just keep it going why not i woke up a bit ago and i'm just gonna get ready and go to my parents house for breakfast i have a barbecue at my aunt's house later today so I am going home and I'm going to plant flowers with my dad this morning and I'm excited. We do this together every single year. I'm excited. I need to rip this off. The concert last night was worth literally every penny. It was so fun. Like, yes, it was the same concert, but like experiencing it from a different perspective, like a different view was crazy like we literally could see her the entire time and it was just so fun me and anna had the best time we literally were like scream singing the entire time and we just had a fucking blast and i had the best time ever and i love taylor so much like when i tell you guys that was like a therapeutic like i feel like i was rebirthed like i feel like she literally birthed me last night so i really appreciate that anyways I'm gonna just do some light makeup and then head to my parents' house. I'm wearing this shirt from White Fox. How cute is it? You guys can use code AMANDA in all caps for money off. I need to hurry up, so I'll see you guys once we're on the way. Okay, here's my outfit of the day. The White Fox top, Revolve jeans. You guys know my favorites. My new balance sneakers. I love them. And this little bag is from Rebecca Minkoff. Yes. And it's a little bit old. I got it for Christmas, like, a few years ago from my aunt. But I love it. So, yeah, that's the fit. We're going to go get Starbucks and then go to my parents' house. I'm really excited. I haven't been home in a while. Sometimes I feel like I was home more when I lived in California, which probably is not actually true. But I'm excited to go. Let's go. You never called it what it was. Yes. I've been listening. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm like, I can't stop listening to Taylor Swift. I can't stop thinking about her. I'm obsessed with her. Oh my god. Okay. I just got to Starbucks. I'm so excited. It really feels like summer. Like, it's just warm every single day now. Like, I don't even need to check the weather. And I'm just, like, through the roof about it. I feel like I'm just defrosting. I'm just so happy. Oh my god. I think that seasonal depression really hit this year. Even though it wasn't even that bad of a winter. But something about, like, the energy of summertime and spring it's just unmatched like spring and summer are my favorite i love christmas time and i love like the time around my birthday and fall but everything else is just so sad the whole energy of this time of year just like makes me so happy i really thought i was gonna have post-concert depression also but i really don't like i feel at peace like i feel like i saw her twice and had the best time ever and really like soaked it in like i was like soaking it in i was making sure like i was in the moment being like okay like take every single second in and i really did and it was just so great anyways i'm gonna shut the fuck up about this concert because i'm probably getting annoying but i'm so excited to get starbucks i got it the other day i don't really get starbucks that often i try not to i literally post made it yesterday though wait i'm literally lying i got it this is gonna be my 
third time this weekend. So what I was gonna say actually doesn't add up. But Saturday morning when I got it with my mom, it just did not hit, like it was not good. And it was the first time I got Starbucks in actually a while. Cause I normally don't get it that often. Um, and it just did not hit, which really pissed me off because like, like it should. A $7 drink should hit. <laughs> Could I just have a venti ice brown sugar shake and espresso? Okay. Um, could I actually have it with almond milk? Okay. And that's it. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, okay thank you. I was gonna get food, but my mom said that she's gonna make bacon, egg, and cheeses. And my mom literally makes the best bacon, egg, and cheese ever. Like, better than any New York bagel shop I've ever been to. My mom's hits different. Like, I wish you all could try one of Michelle's bacon, egg, and cheeses because they're truly life changing and really great. I'm really excited for that. <laughs> I'm in such a good mood today. Ew, I'm like pissing myself off. I feel like when I'm in a good mood, it's like annoying. Like, just shut up. <laughs> Woo! Got my motherfucking drink, bitches. I'm so fucking excited. This Starbucks over here, it's in Edgewater. For reference, if you are in the area, it makes the best fucking coffees. Literally, like, every single time I come to this one, like, I mean, let's not speak too soon because I literally haven't even taken a fucking sip. Like, I'm not gonna get too out of myself. But literally every time without fail, they hit the spot. I was right. Literally, like, the best coffee ever. Like, this coffee, so good. I'm not even being dramatic. Like everybody, if you don't get the brown sugar shaken espresso, you need to get on it. I order it with almond milk just because I prefer almond milk, but the oat milk's good too. It just never, it never does me wrong. Actually, it did me wrong on Saturday, but typically it always hits the spot. So highly recommend. I'm gonna continue blasting Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'm gonna go home. That's all. Back with Curly. We got the bacon, egg, and cheese going. You're locked in that outfit. In Harlow. What's up? Are you coming in? Is that And we have a, a new furry friend. They're, ba they're babysitting. Look at how good. Shouldn't care.